James Tomapiri Kifiru. I'm from uh, Western Springs College and I'm 15 years old. In the next few days I'd like to find out things about plumbing and how it operates and works. I like to be plumbing because it's really creative, you get hands on things, pipes and stuff. And um, it doesn't matter what you're touching, as long as you do a good job, yeah. James will be spending time with TJ Helm Plumbing. Trevor Helm heads a team of nine, five of which are undergoing their apprenticeships. The qualities for an apprentice is someone who really needs to be adaptable. They need to be adaptable in the sense uh, going into a workforce situation straight out of school. They need to be adaptable in the, uh, changing from where they are working from day to day quite often. They might be in a cow shed one day, they might be in an apartment the next day. Primarily they need to have respect. Respect for themselves, where they actually want to go. Respect for their employer and also respect for the, for the customer. So the first thing we do in the morning is just like clean the vans up and that and get our gear sorted. James will be mentored by Foreman Heath Hill, who's been plumbing for nine years. Uh, probably the things I look for is um, keen to learn, um, good on the job, like good on the tools and stuff like that, not, not too scared of getting dirty or getting amongst them and all that, and strong stomach and all that, and just interested in, mainly in the job and just to get along with us. Before the van hits the road, they are rated for tidiness. This one I had last week, Heath. This is an absolute shocker. Is he going to get two and a half this week? Probably not. Hey okay, guys, this is Squeak's van. He, he actually got an eight last week. Yeah. yeah. He can't go much higher. No. Nah. Mark's van. Oh, it's not bad inside. It's one of the better ones. <laughs> it's not too bad. Heath, what did you get for your van last week? A five. Five? How did you get five? Because it was tidy. <laughs> All those in favour of two? Uh, Heath, it's not a very good example. <laughs> Sweet, I'll remember next week. First stop is to pick up materials solid. needed for the job. And two of these up here. Got a pipe as well. I'll use this. We're going to be needing. So grab some of that. Sweet. All right. Next it's off to Edgewater College where new toilet blocks are being built. Here you go, chuck that on. Thanks. Just for safety and all that on the job. What are we going to be doing today? So far at the moment, what we're going to do is um, get these outlets set up. So what's going to happen is the floor's getting built up because they've got to slope the floor out to the drain. Okay. So the floor's coming up 20 mil. So we're going to go from that measurement up to the outlet. And so what we're going to do is put these bends on, cut the pipe and set these bends up to the exact height. I'll get you to do with that PVC saw. Let's try and cut it flush. That nice and level. Apprenticeships are a, are a good start to a career, mainly from a student's perspective. If you're a good learner but struggling within a, in an academic field, you've probably got a, a better chance in life in achieving a, a, a national qualification through experiential learning and some off-job training through a training provider like a Polytech. I've been an apprentice plumber for eight months now and I wanted to do a trade and wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I tried out plumbing and I found it really great. Going to a different job every day or different tradesmen every day, new different things. So what, what are you going to do to fix it? I'm oh, just going to get some bends from the van and bend it back into the wall. One of the good things about a trade, like plumbing and gas fitting especially, is that um, you get to, uh, while you're learning the trade and, and doing your apprenticeship, you get, you get paid while you learn, so it's quite a bonus. Once you've been through a year or so, uh, you start to really learn and appreciate what the trade's about. And you work out what's best for you and what you enjoy. You should never really base it on money. Because once you enjoy something, that's when you start to earn a bit of money. Because people recognise that you're good at what you do. James' next job is to install the systems. So what you're going to do is just chuck those holes. Just come here and James, just to show you what the finished product's going to look like. To give James some appreciation of what he's working on, Heath gives him a tour of a recently completed toilet block. It looks really cool. Yeah, and plus once you, when you finish a job like this, you know, you feel like you've achieved something. So you're happy with the look and all that, so it's good. Back on site, the team now have to figure out how to get the water cylinder in place. That gives us... Each job presents its own challenges and some, if not completed correctly, could potentially be dangerous. When, when you've got a cylinder full of water and you're heating it up, that water heat expands um, just because of the fact that it's heating up. Now, if, if you didn't have a vent off the cylinder letting some of that expansion or pressure off, um, the cylinder would actually explode. So a lot of people don't understand it, but the hot water cylinders in their houses 
could become potentially bombs if they weren't installed properly. So that's why you need licensed guys who are trained properly to install these things. So plumbing's not just about digging trenches and bending pipes. Some of the aspects of plumbing are to do with hot water systems, uh, solar heating systems, and then you get into the gas, gas stream side of the industry, which is about um, uh, gas installations of fireplaces, kitchen hobs, hot water systems, boilers. The future for the young guys in this industry is huge at the moment. We've got, uh, we currently have statistics which show a huge school shortage coming up within the next four to five years. Once you're licensed, I think you've got a career for life, whatever part of the industry you go into. It's time to pack up. So has James made an impression? He showed some skills of like just cutting pipes straight. You see the guys when they start doing that, they can't you know, cut it straight at all. But yeah, he's pretty keen to do that and like keen to use the tools and stuff. So he did show some promise. He would probably take him on as an apprentice. He's got some skills there and plus he's keen to learn, you know, so it always helps to have guys like that on jobs, not someone who wants to turn up and just eat their lunch. Cheers James for having you on the job, you're doing pretty well today. It's good, uh, you ask a bit of questions and all that, you got, you know, a bit of promise in you and all that. Pretty keen to have you on the job too, you didn't mind getting your hands dirty and stuff. So uh, we're off now, so Marty jump in, we'll drop you off home, eh? Sweet bro. <laughs> well, I really enjoy it, uh, different types of things, and, yeah, it's really fun working for the boys, learning new things, yeah, meeting new people. To gain a national certificate in plumbing you need to complete a four year apprenticeship. These apprenticeships are competency based. This course combines an on the job training program supplemented by distance learning and attending courses at polytechnics. There is ongoing training support from the Skills Organisation. Visit skills.org.nz for more information. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.